Now today I have a very quick video, it's just a quick advice for homeowners who have a flat roof area or looking to install a patio. If you have an area that has a very low pitch roof or if you're installing a patio that's very flat, make sure you do not install shingles. Flat roofs and low pitch areas are not meant for shingles, they're meant for flat roof systems. The thing with shingles are that shingles are meant to shed water, they're not waterproof. So if you have an area that's very flat and you have shingles on there, what happens is that water goes back towards the shingle and it goes underneath it and it starts to go towards the plywood and then over time that plywood starts to rot a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more and then that roof starts to cave in and then it starts costing you the homeowner a lot more money to go ahead and replace the whole entire thing and the damaged plywood now if you're the homeowner you have an area that's very low pitch or almost flat install a flat roof system like modified torch the reason being is that flat roof systems are meant to hold water there so if you have water there for long periods of time it is not going to cause damage to the plywood um, it's an easy quick solution but you'd be surprised how many times i see homeowners with this issue so let me show you guys some past jobs of this situation so you can kind of see firsthand what i'm talking about now the patio in the back wasn't connected to the roof so luckily this wasn't damaging the home inside um, but whenever i got on the patio i started walking around i felt that the plywood was sinking in in different areas um, the pitch was very low so what was happening is that the water was not running down as fast as possible so the water was actually going underneath the shingles and was causing damage to the plywood and then to make it even worse they had a lot of trees and branches around the home so what happened was that the branches will fall on the roof the water will run and it will hit the branches and it would stay there longer even causing more damage now to fix this issue what we have to do is we have to remove all those shingles replace all the damaged plywood and then install a whole new flat roof system like modified torch but again this could have been prevented if they just installed a flat roof system whenever they're replacing the roof so just quick tip if you're a homeowner make sure you install the correct system on your roof um so let me show you guys another example right now uh recently we did a roof replacement and what the homeowner did was the homeowner had an area where it was a gap between the two roofs um, but what he did is he installed a patio in that area but he put shingles on the roof but because the area was flat he was having a lot of leaks that were coming inside now, whenever we replace the whole entire roof, in that specific area, we installed a flat roof system, modified torch. So whenever the, the water was running towards that area, from the valley towards that flat roof area, it will be okay because that water can stay there longer and it can shed off eventually. If you're looking to do your own patio, just make sure that if you have any areas that are flat, install a flat roof system. Don't install shingles. You will save yourself a lot of time and a lot of headaches down the road. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video to kind of help homeowners out who have areas that their leaks are coming in. It could be because it's very flat and you may need a flat roof system. Anyways, if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Or if you want to go ahead and reach out to us, our number is 832-458-1602. We're more than happy to help you in any way that we can, even if it's just talking about what roof system will be best for you. But I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.